Grand Rapids has this sort of unique size and then also there's this way that businesses and media and other civic government have kind of embraced it to the point where when it's happening, it's what's happening. If you want to engage in helping create the kind of city that you want to be in, you can. Our community thrives in a local economy that supports the global economy. The commitment to social responsibility, environmental sustainability, and economic sustainability has been core to the values of our city. When you think of Michigan, you think of the city of Detroit. And while Detroit is doing great things, Grand Rapids has had this small little niche of work going on in West Michigan that hasn't been promoted to the level that maybe we should be. Grand Rapids is big enough to be a real city, but it's also small enough that when Art Prize is happening, it just sort of takes over. Art Prize is unique in that it allows any space throughout the city, from museums to coffee shops to churches to front lawns to host art installations. We love having visitors explore our city in ways that they haven't yet before. Even people from the region who don't spend a lot of time in downtown come downtown to experience restaurants. Check out all of the exhibits. They enter places that they may not have seen before. Art Prize has had a tremendous impact in Grand Rapids. Last year it had about a $33 million economic impact. There's a cultural impact and there's an impact in creating a, a place that has art and that has culture, that has, has meaning and that is exciting and that has a, a unique identity. I've never been in Art Prize before, it's my first time, and I was really surprised and overwhelmed with the amount of people in the city. I mean, the city just comes alive. Grand Rapids is a great town. It's a metal sculpture found for mostly reclaimed scrap metal. I think the biggest part for me is, is people sharing their stories about how they had overcome certain circumstances. I had a lady here the other day who had a heart transplant, and the idea of Phoenix, that idea of hope really resonated with her. That's just been a pleasure. It's been a very humbling experience. Agriculture is our largest industry here in the state. That's also come about through us thinking about how to reinvent our economy in this place and use what we have. And beer is a value-added, manufactured, agricultural product. What does the world need? What's not being done? If we're gonna make the perfect brewery, what would it look like? My wife and I started working on what would become Brewery Vivant, and our kind of belief was she kind of came from a world of sustainability, and then I had this experience with craft brewing, and we kind of put them together. are trying to have a signature of Grand Rapids the best we can. Some beers we use local cherries in, and we have beers that we use other local ingredients in. It's easy to, when you are from here to take 
that stuff for granted, but when you come from outside and those things aren't readily available, it really blows people away. They have grown not just a successful company that many people love, that's a gathering place, but they've also really leveraged that to host important community conversations about different things. West Michigan, you know, the people here really, they kind of roll up their sleeves and get to work. Michigan's been beat up quite a bit with car industry, things like that, but I, I think West Michigan's found ways to thrive. We don't like to ask for help. We just like to do it ourselves and get it done. So if there's a, a roadblock, I just have kind of found people, I call it entrepreneurial spirit, we just kind of figure it out and do it on our own. We're not just waiting around for someone else to do it for us. Agriculture is our largest industry, manufacturing second. For Grand Rapids, Michigan is famous the world over as the Furniture City. Widely known and respected, these companies have given the city a reputation for leadership in style and quality throughout the industry. Grand Rapids and the traditions of fine furniture making have been intertwined since the beginning. We make shuffleboard tables that we handcraft out of local woods that we uh, ship them pretty much all over the world. Most of our business is in the United States, but we sell directly to the end consumer. We sold tables from Japan to Australia to the Netherlands, to Hawaii. Most of our stuff is domestic in the United States. People don't go out to the internet looking for price anymore. They go out to the internet looking for stuff you can't buy in a store. I find, and I tell this sometimes when I talk to other business people, make your business unique and give your customer a hug because people today are hungry for the touch. They're surprised when our company's named McClure Tables and you generally call here, you get Todd McClure. And they're kind of, wow, you know? I want to keep it that way. People thinking about measuring their impact on their employees and the environment and the community, that's all come about in the last 15 years. And it's been really exciting and fun to help plant the seeds that would make that happen and then grow and codify that cultural shift. We are hitting our stride. We've been naming some of our core values around sustainability, around equity and inclusion, around local ownership. In larger cities, you may not have the ability to connect as closely to things as you would in Grand Rapids. Because as a young professional, as a student, or as a corporation leader, you have the ability to have impact on day one when you arrive. 